Hey everybody, welcome back to Bite Us Letter Live. I'm Ed Molesky. Today we have uh, Christian Scovena with us. He's the new CEO of High Hampton. High Hampton is a, a, a cannabis story that's developing in, exclusively in California. Correct. And uh, now there's been a couple of announcements. I mean, one of them, the big one here is that you're the, the new CEO. Correct. And uh, uh, I think I probably met you probably a year ago. Yeah, it's been a little bit longer than that. Maybe I a little believe. longer, yeah. yeah. And then we, back to your investment advisor days. Yeah, and then, oh, right. Yes. Right, way back, yeah. yeah. But when I was probably not so s sober all the time. <laughs> anyway, cr Christian, uh, and I remember we had a nice Christmas party yeah. uh, with your group. Uh, about a year ago? But it, yeah, yeah how time flies. Absolutely. So, so look, so, so, uh, uh, I see you just, uh, picked up a new, uh, a new, it, we, we've announced a new acquisition, but first and foremost, just want to thank you for having us, uh, having High Hampton on the Midas letter today. It's uh, really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And that, so, uh, High Hampton, you know, we've been around, uh, since September of 2017. So roughly almost 14 months now we've been trading, right. trade on the Canadian stock exchange under the symbol HC. Um, Cal, uh, Hi Hampton, we are a cannabis company focused in the state of California in, yes. the, in the United States. And our objective is, is to be a premier consolidator in the cannabis space, um, being a fer uh, fully uh, vertically integrated company. So you're going you're to be growing, you're going to, Coachella County, you have an operation. In the in, in city of Coachella, correct. In, in, uh, yes. So okay. we will be, uh, we bought, uh, we bought the, the property, it was just under 11 acres about a year ago um, in the city of Coachella. Um, for the purpose to build out a fully integrated um, grow facility. And that will be a greenhouse uh, looking at roughly about 254,000 square foot greenhouse facility. And okay. that will also include a 56,000 uh, square foot headhouse H how facility. How far is Coachella from LA? Uh, it's about two and a half hour drive. So the is, is it flat there? Um, or yes, you, yeah, pretty, pretty much. So if the drive from LA going down into um, Palm Springs area okay. is mountainous, yeah. and that. But once you get down into to the valley, it's 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 pretty flat. But uh, uh, typically, you just fly direct to Palm Springs, and then it's about a twenty five minute drive from there. And you and you've made some uh, a number of acquisitions. Uh, Correct. In, in, in the last fourteen months. Uh, uh, I know there's uh, the company Cali Gold. Correct. And then there's uh, uh, Mojave Jane. Mojave Jane. So just recently, and uh, for the viewers here, we uh, announced a. This was announced this week. Uh, on Tuesday. So the stock was 33 cents, and now it's 46 cents or something. I like think, that. yeah, I looked at it last uh, before I came in here. It's about 45, 46 cents. So yeah. uh, on Tuesday, we announced a, uh, a binding LOI with Mojave Jane. Right. Uh, Mojave Jane is a uh, fully licensed. Uh, California producer. Um, Mojave Jane uh, is in the extract extraction business and uh, they have license for volatile and non-volatile um, uh, production of the distillates. Is that uh, sort of CBD versus THC or is that a different? It'll, it'll be a combination of both. Okay. Of both. Okay. And that. So um, what this does for uh, for the company and more specifically for our shareholders, it's going to be adding shareholder value. Yeah. Uh, and what I mean by that, um, when we look at uh, numerous opportunities and looking at acquisitions, uh, you know, our model is we want to uh, provide value. Uh, we provide value by acquiring at a low valuation. Right. And, um, and secondly, we're looking for top line revenue. So this company, Mojave Jane, they had, um, you know, they've been producing very small amounts that they've been bootstrapped or cash strapped. Sure. So, so you can help them in that respect. Correct. Yeah. So part of the deal in within the uh, binding LOI is that we will acquire 100 percent of all the members' interest of Mojave Jane. And will you now with the with the people that Mojave Jane are they are they going to stay in this? Correct. Okay. Yeah, so they're so going to become part of. High, high Hampton, right? Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be. So it's, it's a cash and stock deal, correct? Correct, it is. Yes, yeah. correct. So we are acquiring them for $3.5 million in an all stock 
um, acquisition. And then there's a cash commitment of uh, $1.1 million uh, spread over a period of time. Uh, and can you say how long that time is? So what that means is that it'll bring in roughly uh, uh, approximately $1.25 million on a top line uh, uh, revenue basis, on a, on a, sorry, on a monthly basis. Yeah. And that's, so we're looking at roughly about $15 million wow. on that. So um, that will allow us to, you know, uh, have some cash flow to go out, uh, acquire other um, uh, vehicles or, or, or private companies. How, how many key people do they have? Uh, uh, currently, right now, it's the two partners. Okay. Um, and they're, they're chemist, uh, and they have a couple of other uh, part-time. And, and are they nearby? Uh, so, in interesting enough, uh, they are in the city of Coachella, um, and they are in the same commercial, cannabis commercial park, uh, where we have our Beachhead uh, Coachella Grow uh, property, in which we are going to be building out the, uh, the greenhouse right, facility. Right, so it looks like you'll be uh, spending a, a bit of time in California. Absolutely, absolutely. Not a bad, uh, not a bad location. No, not at all, not at all. Uh, Okay, uh, and, and so just uh, re remind the viewers, you, you've been public now for? Roughly 14 months. 14 months, and there's about 90 million shares? Uh, 94 million shares outstanding right and now. And your bank account is uh, quite healthy? Correct. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, do you have other things on the horizon that you're looking at at this point? I, I mean, I'm sure you're probably... Ab absolutely. I think, you know, the, the amount of... Uh, potential acquisitions that come through my desk and, and the rest of our team as well is, is plentiful. Um, you know, so we, we look at every potential acquisition and look at it, um, you know, mainly to make sure that if we are going to proceed on one of these acquisitions that it's creating shareholder value um, for, for the company. Yes. And, uh, um, you know, there's a lot of lot of companies out in California right now that have been around for, for ages. Yeah. And, you know, the the medicinal cannabis market in California has, has been legalized for 20 plus years. Right. Uh, the recreational side uh, went legal January 1st of 2018 of this year and that. So, you know, California is kind of going through what we see here in Canada uh, with Canada just having the legalization uh, on October 17th here. Sure. Um, so, you know, a lot of the counties are going through some you yeah. know, regulations and trying to figure out, you know, how things are going to be uh, done accordingly. And yeah. that. But that being said, um, there are a lot of companies out there, may it be producers uh, to extraction companies sure. to whatever it may be, that are just cash strapped. And you know, smaller operations. Absolutely. That, that, that if, if you add like one and one and one, it comes up to five. As exactly. To, yeah. Exactly. So, well, one of the reasons why we, we went after the Mojave Jane acquisition is that we felt um, the synergies between the other acquisitions that we've previously made uh, throughout uh, 2018 and. Um, the two that stick out uh, is the Cali Gold. Yes. Uh, you mentioned them previously before. So we acquired them in Q3 of, of this year, uh, another all share transaction. And Cali Gold is based out of Oakland. Um, Cali Gold produces um, edible uh, medicinal grade chocolate bars. Uh, they have roughly about eight SKUs right now. Uh, they're looking to bring out another six to eight new products. Yes. Um, so we're, you know, be happy to, you know, get that out to the market and announce that to, to our shareholders sure, as sure, well. So, sure. um, so with having them and having Mojave Jane and doing the extractions, there's definitely some synergies. Um, we can increase buy, buying power as well. Um, and then more importantly, with the acquisition of Eight Points Management, who's located in, in West Sacramento, uh, just north of um, of Los Angeles, uh, they are a distribution uh, port for us. Um, so when it comes to products, we can then vend in uh, any of those products within the Eight Points Management um, uh, framework yeah. and have that distributed. Yeah, and I was talking to James West, who's in California mm -hmm. as we speak, and he tells me it's the advertising in the space is a lot more aggressive. Absolutely. It, like billboards. Everywhere you go, and, and I spend a lot of time uh, in LA and just outside of LA, and then and then obviously down in Coachella, but yeah. uh, in uh, the downtown uh, core of the city of Los Angeles, there's, you know, 
billboards all over the place. Sure. Uh, there's groups that you don't even know of, but then you see the likes of MedMen. They're all over the place. Right. And that. So, right. um, you know, the, the it's the a little more bit more. More people live in California than do in well, Canada. Well, you know, it's, yeah. It's I, all there. Exactly. Tons of money. Exactly. And so, you know, you bring up a good point. A lot of people have always said to me and, and said to, you know, to our company is, you know, why why California? And, you know, our rebuttal to that is why not? Um, sure. You know, California has roughly uh, almost 10 more million uh, in population than the whole of Canada. Um, you know, you have the, the big boys here, the likes of Aurora. There's probably uh, some people there that aren't in the registers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go into that. Yep. Uh, yeah, very good. Uh, yeah, so so uh, uh, I had a I wanted to ask a question here, and then it escapes me. So you sitting on cash, and so when do you think you'll be starting to generate some revenue? I guess if you make this acquisition with with uh, Mojave, correct. There should be some. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't want to make any forward-looking statements, but I, I believe, um, and we are, uh, you know, anticipating with the cash injection into Mojave Jane, um, looking at their projections, looking at, um, you know, with the machinery, everything, the extraction units that they have, uh, we actually will not have to go out and buy any new extraction units. Um, so that's a, a big advantage for us. And as I said, we are going, going to be able to bring their production from 30 liters up to 100 liters um, yielding yes. roughly 1.25 million dollars on a monthly, uh, monthly top basis. line wow. monthly basis so um, <clears throat> and with our um, our distribution um, uh, out in West Sacramento with eight points management uh, they have been pr uh, progressing tremendously and, and the guys there with West Miyake and Lear Han who are behind uh, that company uh, they've done a tr tremendous job yeah. in, in getting uh, that facility up and running. Are, are and these so, people consultants to you? Uh, so they're, they are subsidiaries of, of High Hampton they're part of our okay. High Hampton family. And, and, and did I hear you say or, or, or did you mention that there were some additional consulting people uh, coming on coming on stream or there are some announcements to that respect? No, we, we, well, we just we just announced uh, a new independent director, and that would be Cam Burge. Oh, okay, uh, that's what I'm yeah, thinking. About. Yeah. Uh, Cam Burge was the the former uh, CFO for Australis. Um, trades on the CSC. They are yes. the, the spin out of the U.S. assets from Aurora Cannabis right. uh, based here in, in, in So he's Canada. come on your board. <clears throat> yeah, so wow. he, he was announced on Monday. Okay. And that's so Cam brings, you know, multiple, multiple years Good. of capital markets experience. Uh, more more uh, importantly, within the cannabis sure. space, um, he's also part of CTT Pharmaceuticals, uh, in which I believe he actually um, uh, spearheaded that and, and uh, Aurora has done a, a deal with that company and, and, I'm not and sure if when looking that was down done. the road and without going <coughs> you know I understand this it's it's difficult to predict the future but would you say you're going to end up being 50-50 uh, in terms of medical versus uh, recreational or do you think you know that th that that's a good question that's something that you know is always proposed or or, or brought up by our shareholders right. and and I believe you know the California market right now, it's as strong in both of the, the medicinal and the rec. And, you know, we are gearing more so on the medicinal side. It's been around for 20 plus years. Yes. Um, but, uh, you know, there will be a time where, yes, we will jump into that, you know, full steam ahead sure, on sure. that. Um, I think, you know, just looking at the economics on it and what we're seeing here in Canada, um, the, you know, the amount of uh, growth in, in that space is, yeah. is it's pretty big. M more and more people are saying that, you know, that the, the, the rumor is that tr Trump is definitely looking at legal, making it federally legal for, for medical purposes as an initial, you know, foray. But, you know, I don't want to speculate. Yeah, and I, I don't really want to speculate yeah. either, but I think, you know, there's been lots of conversations. I'm not a politician by any means, but, uh, yeah. you know, a lot of people have been, and what I've been reading as well is that, um, you know, Trump may legalize um, uh, cannabis across yeah. across the country just before the end of his, his first uh, term is up. But, um, you know, that's all speculation, sure, and, sure. And, and we'll just have to sit back and, and uh, see what happens there. But, you know, our main focus as a company um, is to drive and... And, and keep driving and, and getting shareholder va um, value into yeah, the company. Yeah, sure. And it's our whole philosophy philosophy of uh, consolidating California. Yeah. And uh, so when you look at, uh, Ed, when you look at everything that we have done to date so far, um, 
besides having our beachhead uh, operation being the Coachella Grow uh, facility or, or property that we have and will be breaking ground probably within about three to four months. There's a lot of stuff that we have to work up to uh, before we can do that. Sure. One thing I didn't mention, we actually brought on uh, ALPS, which is the Aurora Larson Special Projects, and right. that, that is right. Thomas Larson and his team, right. world-renowned um, greenhouse specialist that was recently, I believe, actually, it may have been at the end of the uh, end of uh, Q4 of last year where Aurora acquired him. Um, so what we're gonna see and what our shareholders can see uh, by us bringing ALPS on is that it's going to be a fully automated a greenhouse system, uh, potentially increasing uh, our yields uh, up to you know anywhere from 20 to 25 percent, bringing down operational costs and that. So um, they've been a great addition, and and uh, we welcome having their expertise uh, uh, on on that project. So um, as I said, we have that, but what we've done is we've we've positioned all of our acquisitions throughout California. Sure. Um, so if you look at all the way up to, uh, to the top, it being the northern part of where we've actually done one of our acquisitions is Cali Gold. They're located in Oakland. And then you have the Eight Points Management, which is in West Sacramento. We've acquired um, <clears throat> a company called 420 Realty, uh, which has uh, five licenses on there. Um, it's in the city of uh, Cudahy, which is just southeast of uh, downtown LA. LA, um, and then we'll have our Coachella Grow operation, and now bringing on or potentially bringing on Mojave Jane sure. once we close Good. on on that transaction. It actually gives High Hampton one of the largest footprints when it comes to distribution because we'll have distribution in Oakland, sure. West Sacramento, Cudahy, and then eventually uh, yeah. down in, in Coachella, and that. And oh, I, that sounds yeah. great, Christian. Thanks for coming by. Thank we you very really much like for having you, us and on. We hope that you'll come back soon. Absolutely. And, and, Thank you. And, and, and uh, tell us the, the rest of the story as it develops. So, folks, Hi Hampton, ticker is HC, been around public for 14 months, lots of cash, good management. Thanks, Christian. Thank you very much, Ed. Appreciate okay. it. Cheers. Thank you. Well,